I just spend 31 days making beats every single day. And right after that, here's what I looked like. I did this as a part of a challenge called Beattober and many of you in the community also took that on and together as a community, we raised $10,000 for the Music and Youth Initiative. So shout out to all of you in the community. But it got me thinking about what do we do with the music that we haven't yet finished? And today I've got three ideas for you for all of those projects sitting on your hard drive, songs left unfinished, beats left broken. What do we do with them? Whether you participated in Beattober or not, I bet any producer could do this. Now I just like haven't trimmed my beard in a while. All right, the first and most important tip is that not all music that you've started to make, not every unfinished project deserves to be finished. In fact, many of them don't. Not everything we make is great. Not everything we made was meant to be a finished project. You could have started a project and learned a lot about mixing or learned a lot about this instrument plugin. But the key here is you should go through your unfinished projects and identify which of those you actually want to finish. Now when I get the urge to work on music, instead of opening my laptop and starting a brand new project every time, I can revisit the projects that I've marked as good stuff or the projects in the genre folder that I want to work in in that given moment. One additional thing I've started implementing to the system is Exporting a small snippet of the project once I identify it as a good project. This way, when I'm going through the good stuff folder, I can click into a project and not have to open the whole thing to hear and remember what it actually sounds like or what it is. So now I've got 31 beats after Beattober. Obviously not all 31 of them are something I wanna finish, but what I do have is something cool. Information from my audience to know what music was my audience feeling and how does that relate to the music that I wanna be making? It's like this. It's a Venn diagram. Your audience likes a certain kind of music. You have the music that you want to be making. The best place we can be in is a place where these two things overlap. Now this won't always be true, nor should we make art just for the audience. But if there is a moment where you're making something that you truly love and enjoy, and your audience has shown that they really love and enjoy it, maybe through an Instagram snippet, people being extra fired up in the comments, then maybe that's a good guide for what music we should prioritize finishing. All right, tip number two now. All right, tip number two. Along the same lines with the projects we're not going to finish, it doesn't mean we just throw them in the trash. There's probably stuff we can take out of them. For instance, we could create our own samples. Maybe that one project you're getting rid of where the beat was just not hitting, you recorded an amazing synth loop or an awesome guitar loop, or maybe the drums were fire within that project. Just export that little four bar loop or that 16 bar loop or that one shot that you created. Make your own sample folder based on all your old material that you're not using anyway. Imagine a world where you don't have to go into some app to download somebody else's samples. Instead, you have built up this folder over time of your own samples to go and flip. Not only that, some of you are really talented at creating chord progressions, melodies, a lot of guitar players out there that are playing dope riffs. This can also be a great revenue source for all of you producers out there, releasing your own sample packs. Pull awesome sample material from projects you're never gonna finish. All right, third and final tip here. You worked hard on something in these old projects and maybe it wasn't the musical ideas, maybe they're not that great, but what about that dope drum kit you built? What about the effects chain you built for the guitar sound? What about that vocal sample you chopped up? All this to say is some of those unfinished projects you have probably have gold that can make your life easier in the future. Save these to your user library, whether it's a drum kit that you built for a project or an FX chain you could use in the future. Don't build it every single time. Build it once, save a version of it, and the next time, for me, right, the next time I wanna build a lo-fi chill beat, I can open up that lo-fi drum kit that I already built from a project that I'm not using or every time I wanna pick up my guitar, I should have an audio effect rack ready to go with the guitar sound that I like. This is also how you're gonna to start to build your own sound by 
using a catalog of sounds and effects that you've spent time building that you've crafted to your liking and then using them across your different projects will start to give you your sound. Work smarter, not harder. All right, what did you think of those three ideas? Which one did you find most helpful? Which one are you thinking of doing? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not yet. If Beattober is something you wanna be a part of next year, just kind of follow along the Beattober hashtag. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Like I said, it's an amazing community challenge so we can become better producers, but we also literally raised $10,000 for the Music and Youth Initiative, which is beyond what I expected we could do. It was a high goal, but the community came through and we can use our power as an international community of producers for good things and good causes. I also did a ton of giveaways throughout the entire month. So we'll only be having more fun during next year's Beetober, but there's plenty of fun to have here on the channel between now and then. So make sure you're subscribed. And just so you know, this channel wouldn't really be possible without channel members. So if you want to join our awesome community, hit the join button down below. You get access to our Discord server, members only content like our members only workshop, which are really cool deep dives into different musical topics free sounds and sample packs, and you're able to submit music every month for our music reviews to get my feedback and the community's feedback. It's a really cool community. Maybe someone with a cool membership badge will tell you how cool it is down in the comments. And thank you all so much for watching. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.